Hello students, this video is about inverse trigonometric functions. We are going to solve the questions from uh, previous CBSE papers and also from the ISC papers, some of the questions here in this video and uh, in the far forthcoming videos as well. Do subscribe in order to get more and if you need the full uh, course of mathematics, physics and statistics, you can go to the description below, you can contact us and we will obviously help you with that okay now uh, start with a question this came in 2014 this will be a topic wise uh, year wise answer I previously was thinking about um, only year wise that will also come soon but this one the question in the previous seven to eight years whatever came from inverse I will solving here so the first is in 2014 I will be first going for the VSS that is a very short answer type question this is mostly a one mark question so the first question they have given is cos inverse minus half plus 2 sine inverse plus half okay so in order to solve this question what I have to proceed is the replacement remember that this is minus half so it falls in this not in the first quadrant but in the 2 pi by 3 that means the second quadrant okay so and uh, this one we can replace with the normal value of half so that is sine pi by 6 so here this will come out as 2 pi by 3 this will come out at 2 into pi by 6 after adding you can get the total function is pi one thing you have to remember here that the range of cos inverse is 0 to pi and the range of sine inverse is minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 okay now we are going for the next question in the very next question uh, this came in 2014 again that what I uh, write the principal value of tan inverse sine minus pi by 2 so in this we are going to solve it like that tan inverse and this is minus sine pi by 2 so this is nothing but minus 1 because we know sine of minus theta equal to minus sine theta so that particular theory we are going to apply over here and by that we get this value so after getting this value what we have to do is 10 inverse minus 1 so again 10 inverse minus 1 also this minus will actually come out so this is 10 inverse minus will come out and 10 pi by 4 so simply the answer is minus pi by 4 and obviously here the range is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay so this is very important now we are proceeding to question number 3 in question number 3 they have given they have asked us to find us this in 2016 they have asked us to find the value of cot pi by 2 minus two cot inverse root 3 this thing okay so how to find this value over here so here we write cot of pi by 2 minus 2 cot inverse will be here and this pi by 2 is a, we can write it this root 3 as cot pi by 6 that is the replacement we need so simply this will be cot pi by 2 minus 2 into pi by 6 directly hence it is cot of after calculation you will see this is pi by 6 so the answer is root 3 so in this kind of easy and shortcut ways you can solve these problems now uh, I will go to question number 4 question number 4 they have asked us to write again the principal value of ok this came in 2015 tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus half 
So here in this sum, we will solve it tan inverse 1 obviously can be represented by tan pi by 4 and this cos inverse like the very first question we can replace it by 2 pi by 3 okay so this one will come out as only pi by 4 and this one will come out as 2 pi by 3 so then solve the question and the answer we can get as this okay now the next question uh, I'm going for the short answer type some short answer type questions I will also solve. So I have asked that uh, this one is of 2013 that proves that cos inverse 12 by 13 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 equal to 10 inverse 56 by 33. Now this one is a very interesting question. So how to do that? So here, you know, to solve it, we let this as x, this as y, okay. Now, we know sin x equal to root over 1 minus cos square x and same for sin y as well. So let us find uh, x equal to cos inverse 4 by 5. So cos x equal to 4 by 5 and cos y equal to 12 by 13. So similarly sin x is root over 1 minus 4 by 5 square. So here you can find that this is 3 by 5 and sin y is 5 by 13. That's it. So now the first steps are done. We also know that cos of x plus y equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So if we write cos a cos b, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So this is 4 by 5, 12 by 13 minus 3 by 5 into 5 by 13. This little bit of calculation will lead me to 33 by 65. So x plus y equal to cos inverse 33 by 65 so in this way we can prove that x plus y equal to this and x plus y equal to cos inverse 4 by 5 and cos inverse 12 by 30 so directly our problem is proved okay now going for another big question here this question says this one is a similar one that sine inverse 12 by 13 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 63 by 16 equal to pi we need to prove so how to prove this one okay here i will be needing a special formula i will solve this that is tan of x plus y there is a tan Okay, so tan, whenever you remember that whenever tan is there, it is a decider of this question. Mm, tan x plus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. Okay, so here also we take sine inverse 12 by 30, just like the past one, x. Please uh, allow me to use a different color for this. Okay, yellow will do it. This one we are assuming as x and cos inverse we are assuming as y and this one we are assuming as z so we, the equation becomes x plus y plus z equal to pi okay now from this we can write that what will be the value of cos x cos x is simply cos y actually cos y will be 4 by 5 sin x will be 12 by 13 and tan z will be 63 by 16 so what is cos x cos x is 5 by 13 just by utilizing this formula sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 sin y will be 3 by 5 and tan y will be simply by the ratio of sin y by cos y 3 by 4 
and tan x will be 12 by 5 again the ratio using you can find it okay now tan of x plus y we know the formula which we have written so tan of x plus y equal to tan x plus tan y that is 12 by 5 by 3 fourth divided by 1 minus 12 by 5 into 3 by 4 so that is equal to minus 63 by 16 okay so tan of x plus y if you see the value given over here 63 by 16 and this is also coming so we can write it as this is minus tan z that's it so tan of x plus y equal to tan of minus z so we can here write tan of x plus y equal to tan of pi minus z that is negative obviously so obviously x plus y equal to pi minus z and at the end we can write x plus y plus z equal to pi you can see that this was the exactly thing we need to prove so just replace x and y and z you get your answer okay in the forthcoming video i will tell you about the long uh, and uh, structured questions also on this inverse trigonometric functions okay do subscribe us and if you need any help call to this number or whatsapp us we'll obviously help you out thank you